Well, hello again. This is NixOS number 80, and this is part two of a Flakes Plus Home Manager multi-user, multi-host configuration video. A link to the talkie script that you see that's entitled NixOS 80 will be available in a link in the description. So in part one of the series, I created a Flake-based NixOS configuration that can configure three different hosts, and I pushed it up to GitHub. As it stands after the first video, all hosts share a common set of globally available programs and services, and really the only difference between them right now is their host name. However, they are configured via a Flake, and there are three of them. And by the way, if you want some more basic context about NixOS Flakes, I'd suggest that you watch a video I made about Flakes out of the box. You can click on that link there. However, in this continuing part of the series, we have we have some important business to attend to it. It presumes you've watched part one, for better or worse, but here's our intent. We'd like to cause host one to have a Postgres service running on it that won't run on host two or host three. All hosts, host one, host two, and host three, will get the user environment and the home manager configuration, which consists of a shell setup and git configuration of a user named Alice. Host three and only host three will additionally have the user environment and home manager configuration of a user named Bob. Alice and Bob will share a common base home manager configuration so that changing that common base will impact both of them. In the meantime, host two will have a special home manager configuration for the Alice user. In particular, it's gonna run a user level system D service as Alice. And finally, host three will have a special home manager configuration for the Bob user. It'll add additional shell aliases for Bob that Alice does not have. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up Postgres on host one. This is fallen off a log easy. I'm logged into host one and I'm going to change host1.nix that's in our Etsy Nix OS directory. And we're gonna add in services, Postgres, well, enable, true, save it. And then we're gonna run Nix OS rebuild switch. I believe it worked. The clue is in the following new units were started, PostgreSQL service. So let's do a system cuddle status PostgreSQL. We now have a PostgreSQL server running on host one. And let's see about our configuration. Let that change. Okay, that's pushed up. Now, the whole point of this is that this Postgres service is only going to be running host one. So let's let's log into host two and try to see whether it's running or it's not running when, when we run NixOS rebuild switch on host two. Host two has different wallpaper. They all have different wallpaper. So hopefully you can tell them apart. Let's pull our changes. See that we got our change to host one.nix rebuild switch. All right, system kittle, status, host, GraphSQL service. Nope, not running, not a surprise. The same would be true of host three. Okay, I'm back on host one. And before I do any work with Alice and Bob, the famed example users, I need to deal with an existing user named Chris M. I, I added a user named Chris M during the NixOS installer process in order to be able to SSH conveniently to GitHub and other hosts. Currently, he is defined within the configuration next file, but we want him, as well as Alice and Bob, to be defined so that we can include or disinclude his account on any of our three hosts at our whim. So to get there, while logged into host one here, I'm gonna add a file to our Etsy NixOS directory named chrism.nix. I'm going to take Chris M's user configuration out of configuration.nix. Paste it in here into Chris M.nix. Got to add a little bit of hair to make the module system happy. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I didn't need to put that in there. Okay, and we now have a Chris M.nix that I think is cromulent. Since I still want Chris M, the Chris M user on all hosts, I'm going to change 
all of host one, host two, and host three to import Chris M. And in order to do that, I'm going to change the imports list of host one, host two, and host three. I've changed all the files I need to change, I think. Take a look at our git status. I need to add Chris M. Nix or Nix OS rebuild will complain to me. And now let's try to rebuild. Uh, I forgot a dot. Chris, I'm still around. I'm also logged in as him. So uh, it worked and uh, I'm gonna commit the result. Okay, at this point I could fire up host two and host three and, and run NixOS rebuild switch on those to prove that Chris is still a user on those hosts as well. I'm not gonna do that, just trust me. All right, we're finally to the point where we're gonna meet Alice and Bob. We're gonna add the Alice and Bob Unix users and I'm gonna do this while still logged into host one. Copy the chrism.nix that I made into alice.nix and I'm gonna edit that file and change all the instances of Chris M to Alice. Alice does not need to be in the wheel group, so we'll take her out. And that is not Alice's SSH key. And we also, we're also gonna give Alice an initial password. And copy Alice.nix to Bob.nix. Change things such that we have a Bob. At this point, we need to change host one, host two, and host three dot next. So Alice is present on all of them. We're gonna do that by adding Alice dot next to the imports list of each one of those. We want Bob to be present on host three, but not host one and host two. So I'm going to add Bob dot next uh, to host three dot next. We need to add Alice dot next and Bob dot next to our Git staging area. Okay, so now let's build. We are on host one, so we should see only Alice. Indeed, Alice has now been added. That password and we can log in as her. Now we wanna make sure that the changes we made to get Bob set up work. So I'm going to start up host three, pull and run our NixOS rebuild switch on host three. Before I fire up host three, however, I have to commit the stuff that we just changed. Here we are on host three, we can tell because the wallpaper is different. Let's pull our changes. And let's run NixOS rebuild switch. Both Alice and Bob have been added. So now we have our Unix user accounts set up properly for, for both Bob and Alice on all our systems. Well, at least host one and host two at this point. And Alice can presumably log into any of host one, host two, or host three. And Bob can presumably log into host three, but not host one nor host two. All right, we're back on host one. And at this point, I'd like to get home manager set up for both Alice and Bob. Home manager is something that lets NixOS manage user-related dot files and other per user configuration like system to user services. Um, out of the box, NixOS itself doesn't really deal with this stuff. Home manager is the domain of home slash, you know, username. Uh, NixOS typically doesn't touch that stuff. To use home manager, we need to change our flake.nix file. First thing we need to do is add an input for home manager. Also need to add home manager to our list of inputs that are passed to the outputs as arguments. And then we need to establish some variables that we're gonna use later in our NixOS system stuff. So I'm just gonna cut and paste this. It's just too hard to type, too much to type anyway. What this does is it sets up a list of shared modules that each host is going to make use of uh, that includes home manager i'm not going to go into too much detail about the arguments we pass in order to make use of the shared modules i have to add them to the modules list we 
we're also going to make use of uh, these this special arcs argument that I provided above uh, a shared system argument I'm not gonna explain these either but you know, just bear with me old school Knicks people will be screaming at the screen right now because there's a shorter way to spell what I just typed so I can replace this special args equals special args and system equals system with something like inherit special args system something like that and I could get rid of that I'm not gonna do that I just find it easier to read to be explicit it's more to type easier to read try to rebuild actually do I need to add any files Okay, we see that it added an input for Home Manager, so I think we're doing something right. Okay, that worked. Now Home Manager is available for use. We have not configured anybody with any Home Manager stuff at this point, but the user accounts that we've created can now use Home Manager. I'm going to commit and push this. Okay, the next step is to give Alice and Bob some concrete home manager configurations. Um, and so I'm gonna stay on host one here. I'm going to add some stuff into Alice.nix in order to configure Alice's git username and email settings declaratively whenever we run NixOS rebuild switch. And we're also gonna set the baseline state version of home manager for bean counting purposes because we have to. Okay, so we can see here that we are configuring the global Git configuration for Alice such that Alice's Git username is Alice and Alice's Git email is Alice at example.com. I'm going to do something similar for Bob. So I don't think we need to add any files here. No, we're good. I'm going to try to rebuild and we'll see what happens under Alice's home, uh, Alice's home directory. We can see this config file is now a symlink into the Nix store. And it should contain content that looks appropriate. That is correct. I'm going to commit and push this. Uh, if I were on host three, I would see both Alice and Bob get this sort of home managery stuff. I'm not going to get on host three. We'll, we'll do that in a second. I want to do some factoring first. So we also want Bob and Alice to share some home manager configuration. I'm going to stay on host one and I'm going to make a file named home.nix that contains configuration that will provide a shell alias named LL. And what it'll do is when you type LL and press enter, it will do the equivalent of LS space dash AL. Sorry about the font sizing. I'm trying my best to keep it big, but I forget. <laughs> Uh, we have a module that sets up programs bash enable equal true and shell aliases equal some stuff. And we can now add that into alice.nix and bob.nix in a certain place. Try to rebuild now, but before I do that, I have to add .nix to our staging area. Let's see if uh, Alice has our new LL. So she does. And see that LL is an alias to that. Now, if we were on host three, we would also see that Bob has an alias. I'm actually going to be on host three 
soon. We'll see it there in action. So I'll commit. Well, I had really hoped this would only be a two-part series, but I think I'm gonna have to call it a day there. I will finish up the rest of it in a part three, where we will get a user system D service configured for Alice on only one host. And we will also set up some shell aliases for Bob on a different host. Thanks for watching.